can have a great beginning. It can have wonderful characters and an engaging plot. But if the end doesn't end the way I expected, if it's not a happy ending, I usually don't care for the story. You know, be it a movie or, or a book or even a story that someone might be telling me about a certain situation that they experienced. And I guess I, I, I consider myself normal. Do you consider yourself normal? Do you like happy endings? Do you like the plot to sort of go the way you like it to go and then finish well? I consider that normal. I hope I'm normal. If, you, if that's not for you, then you're not normal. I like happy endings. I like things to end well. That's, that's just me. And I, I consider it, I hope it's normal. But today we celebrate Palm Sunday. It's also known as, as Passion Sunday. And we began the morning by singing that song, the, the Hosanna, Hosanna to the Son of David, the King of Israel. That word Hosanna, we, we, we hear it a lot. Um, if, Hosanna is an Aramaic word. And it means, save us, we pray. So as we walked around the, the perimeter of the, of the church, we sing to God. We ask him for forgiveness. This is how we start this morning as we enter into Holy Week, asking for God's forgiveness and mercy and calling and singing in praise for him to save us. Save us, Lord, we pray. And we can imagine in our mind's eye as, as Jesus enters Jerusalem on a colt, and everyone around him is are singing these words, are praising him. Hosanna to the Son of David, King of Israel. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. This was our starting point this morning. We begin Holy Week, and we begin what is known as the, the Easter Triduum. A triduum, the last piece of, of grammar we're going to spend this morning, triduum. Triduum is a Latin word, means three days or three day. Triduum. So try, obviously, try three. And duum means day. Can you say that word, triduum? Triduum. It's a hard word to say. And I've heard a couple of different versions, but the one I use is, is, is triduum. Um, it consists of three days Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and Holy Saturday, where we celebrate the Easter Vigil. And it's a, in Holy Week, these three days are, is a consistent three-day story that actually doesn't have an ending. We move from Holy Thursday to Good Friday and then Holy Saturday. So as the bishop pointed out this mor last night when he was here for Mass, there, we don't dismiss, uh, we, we, there's no dismissal on Holy Thursday and on Good Friday because it's, it's a continual prayer. We are in continually uh, in prayer with Jesus as we walk through and journey with him through these three days. So, since it's been a little while since we've been away from the Triduum, we, we haven't been able to celebrate the Triduum fully in three years. If you remember two years ago, every church in the diocese was closed. So the, the Triduum was actually at the Basilica and we were invited to watch online. Last year, we were, we were under heavy restrictions as far as people. So it's been three years since we've been able to enjoy and experience and celebrate the Triduum as a church, um, as a parish and as a church family. So I, I just wanted to spend a few minutes with you just to, to refresh your memory a little bit about what we can expect on each of the three nights. And we would look first at Holy Thursday. And on Holy Thursday, we, we experience the institution of a couple of things. Number one is we, we, we read the story of the Last Supper, of the Lord's Supper, where Jesus institutes the Eucharist. What a wonderful experience that is. And the other is that at, at the Lord's Supper, Jesus, and on Holy Thursday, Jesus institutes the priesthood, the ministerial priesthood. So it would be wonderful for all of us to join Father James as he would celebrate uh, the institution of the priesthood as we join together as a, as a parish family. Um, Father James will wash the feet of 12 parishioners. Not a job I'd want, but he's going to do it as he represents Jesus washing the feet of, of 12 people, of tw the, the apostles. So on Holy Thursday, 
we really get a sense of Jesus as a servant, as he institutes the priesthood, the Eucharist, and as he washes the feet of his 12 apostles. Then we'll move into Good Friday. Good Friday is all about the cross. The cross, we will, we will venerate the cross. Um, we experience the, the, the solemnity, the, the, the solemnness of the day of Good Friday because it's the day that we, we experience the death of Jesus on the cross. And everything within the sanctuary is pretty bare. The, the altar is, is bare. We, we have a real sense of mourning and loss as we deal with the reality of, of the death of Jesus in such a horrible death through crucifixion on the cross. On Good, on Good Friday, because it's all about the cross, we see Jesus as sacrifice. That's how we experience him on Good Friday. And then finally on Holy Saturday, we have the Easter Vigil. We experience the resurrection of Jesus and how he comes out of the tomb. The night begins with a fire outside. As we, as we uh, baptize the, the candle, we light the candle and then we all come in and we light individual candles which we hold. As a child, this is the night that I remember the most. If there's a night in the church year that I remember, it's the Easter Vigil. Because I, I, the church was full of people and there's candles. It's almost, the church is basically dark, candles everywhere. It's just such a beautiful and moving experience for us as a parish as we come to celebrate the Easter Vigil. We also, obviously, we will have three baptisms on Saturday night at the Vigil. And uh, we have one candidate that will also receive some sacraments. So um, we, we have the sprinkling rite. So if you got a little bit wet out in the foyer, you're, you might get a little wet on, on uh, Saturday night. Because we do have the sprinkling rite. And we go about and, and um, use holy water to, to bless everybody. Father James is going to sing the Exaltet. And uh, the Exaltet is, is a beautiful and moving hymn of praise. It's an ancient hymn of praise. And it's a wonderful experience. I love it. It's nine and a half minutes long. I just sit there and I close my eyes. It's so rich. Father James does an amazing job with the Exaltet. Um, we sing the Gloria for the first time in six weeks. And we ring bells. So... Come to the Easter Vigil, don't forget your bells, because you ring them and we ring them really loud. It's a wonderful experience. The Easter Vigil is so full of joy and celebration. So on, good, on uh, Holy Saturday at the Easter Vigil, I'd suggest that we experience Jesus as Savior, as we experience his resurrection as he comes out of the tomb. The Easter Vigil on Holy Saturday is all about Jesus as Savior. So whatever camp you are in, whether this is, is your first opportunity to come to a, tri, a, a triduum, an Easter triduum, please come. If you're, you've come to bits and pieces of a past triduum, consider coming to all three. It is one prayer over the entire three days. Holy Thursday, Good Friday, Holy Saturday. Come to all three. If it's been a while since you've been, you know, uh, had a chance to come to the Triduum. And if you're a diehard Triduum fan and you've never missed a Triduum, other than the last couple perhaps, um, consider coming. Com consider coming and celebrating with your, your family, your parish family. This is the first opportunity we've had to celebrate the Triduum without restrictions in three years. It is a moving and holy and wonderful experience. There are highs and there are lows, but it is all blessing upon us. So Thursday, 7 p.m., Friday, 3 p.m., and Saturday at 8 p.m. One thing I just, I wanted to share with you personally, that the passion is obviously a very moving experience, and it, uh, to, to hear the passion within Luke, Luke and John's gospel is very good, but there's one line that we find in both Matthew and Mark's a version of the passion that always does it for me, just emotionally. G 
Jesus comes, they go to the Garden of Gethsemane, he goes off to pray. And he comes back and he finds them sleeping. And he goes a second time away to pray, comes back the second time and he finds them sleeping. And he goes off to pray a third time and he comes back the third time. And again, he finds them sleeping. And he says this to his disciples. Could you not stay awake with me one hour? One hour. Consider coming out to the Holy Triduum, the Easter Triduum. Jesus is asking us, can you not stay awake with me for one hour? And I'll give you four final reasons why to consider coming to the Triduum. Samantha, Bill, and Cody are three reasons. Philip's right over there. Philip, give yourself, give a wave. Phil will be baptized on Saturday night. I don't know if anyone else is here. I saw Phil, so, um, or Samantha or Cody. But come and support Phil and Samantha and Cody and Marjo. And welcome them into our parish family. Welcome them into the church. There's a picture of Marjo. Uh, if you haven't seen her, um, her video on our website, please go. She does a, an, alpha, um, an alpha talk, and it's, it, this video is excellent. She's a woman of great faith. The Easter Triduum is a beautiful story. It's told over three days. It's a true story of Jesus' death, life, death, and resurrection. It has highs, it has lows. It is the greatest human story. It's a true story. It's a, a joyful story. It's a moving story. It's a story with a happy ending. The kind of ending that we all love from a story.